Good morning, I'm Alessandro Anderloni. I'm the artistic director of the film festival della Lessinia. We are pleased to have with us uh, Stefan Pavlovic, director of the film uh, Looking for Horses, a competition at the festival. He is calling in from uh, Bosnia. Good morning, Stefan, and welcome. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So, Stefan, when and how did you meet uh, the protagonist, uh, Stravko? Yeah, I um, met him uh, in the summer of 2018. Uh, by chance, I was here uh, with my grandmother. How, how it also starts in the film with that with the text. Mm -hmm. I met him with uh, because I was on the way to my grandma's house with her and we met him by chance. Uh, and yeah, some and this this friendship uh, s slowly started by chance. Actually, there was something really soft and beautiful about him, and we kept. I kept coming back, and we spent more and more time together. And uh, uh, what was your initial idea to tell about uh, his life uh, or about uh, mm -hmm. the war? or your region no i mean there there was there was i was in school at the time actually i was in my second year of a of the master which was in in amsterdam i was living and this was a research master in and through cinema mm -hmm. um, so you you're working two years on 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 questions and on on research that you're thinking about through cinema so I was, of course, thinking. Um, I had my questions and my 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 thoughts, but I didn't. I I didn't have with me any idea. I was not looking uh, for a subject. None of I've made. I've made two other short films that also didn't happen because I was thinking of a subject or something to something to say. It was. It was uh, it was just the, the meeting him, the friendship, and um, on the first day that I met him, uh, my grandmother slipped. She fell from the stairs and she twisted her ankle, and Zdravko saw that and he came. He came to me and he and he pulled me and he said, "We should go to the lake because there is this little." fish that if you catch it and you put it on your uh wound or on your muscle it will heal um so that was the first moment where i thought wow his his inner and his inner world it's so contrasting to his outer he looks so rough and he's tall and he you see the lines in his face but he, he is so soft and tender mm -hmm. um and this really this really moved me and then we were sitting me and him on the boat here on the lake and then i realized wow he doesn't hear i don't really speak this is really funny so i was moved by that i thought wow this um this is really beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, were you always alone with your camera and or did you have a team with you and uh, no, no no totally, totally no no totally alone it was one of the one of the real things that i remember one of the only rules that i gave myself since the beginning since i thought okay maybe maybe there is something here maybe there is a film i told myself i'm not going to make a film about him i i don't want to make a film about a stranger or about an old man who's living here by himself who's had a hard life this 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 distance i was not so or this topic i was not so interested in i was i was moved and curious about our friendship and who he was because of me and who i was because of him like what happened 
when we were spending time together our friendship this was for me if there was a topic yeah. this was for me uh it so it became very very early on it became clear also how i wanted and needed to make this film which was by myself the camera was uh was 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 the object that was between me and him, which was the language. Mm -hmm. So it, it wouldn't make sense if there was someone holding the sound or someone filming. It it would have it would not have been uh it wouldn't it would not have been possible to you know to ask these these questions about documentary filmmaking and about intimacy uh if there was a crew there yeah yeah and um, what meaning do horses have to Zratko? sorry I what meaning you. what is the horses what meaning yeah. do have to Dratsko? are they a symbol are they an idea dream what do they the mean horses, to the horse. him or to yeah. me? No, to him, to him, to the protagonist. Um, that's that's an interesting question. I I don't know. I don't know what they specifically mean to him. But what I know and what I could see is that is how close he is with animals in general, with the dogs, and there's cows everywhere here. He and 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 the fish. He's very in tune with the fish. Like he is, he is almost, uh, yeah. He's really part of. Or there's a frequency. These animals, they feel that he that he is that he is special or something like that. But mm -hmm. um, no, the horses was more because of me because he saw I have this this tattoo on my hand of a horse. So really early on, he asked me about that. And he said, oh, I have to show you. There's these wild horses I have to show you. And um, that was the first moment where I introduced the camera. I said, okay, let's go look for them. But I, I, I will bring my camera. I'll film that. Mm -hmm. So that always was our, our goal and our mission is to find these horses. And, uh... Did you ever see the horses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, um, it took two years or something, really. And then we found them, um, which, yeah, people if people should see the film. I won't, I won't say too much about it. But, yeah, the horses, for me, this is, this is, this is also up up to the the interpretation of everyone but for me you can change that word horses into many other things it was yeah it was this this horses but in between we it was about a lot of other things yeah. so my last question stefan did the Stravsko leave do you know where he is now he's still there on the lake yeah, yeah, I'm I'm completely in contact with him. I'm here now, so I see him, and we, when I'm not, we talk on the phone. And his his life has not changed so much from from the movie. It just that that he's reached a certain age that he cannot spend here anymore the winter completely because it gets cold. Uh, so in the winter, he goes back to the city as a house. But the minute the sun is out, he comes. The, the lake is really his place. Yeah. He comes here, he sleeps here, he fishes here. He knows people here also. So, Stefan, say hello to him from the Thank film Festival you. della Lissidia. I, I will, and, of course. Uh, thank you for this touching film and for having this for having brought, he has this beautiful story of friendship. Mm. And Thank you good so luck much. for the festival competition. And we hope to be able to welcome you on our mountain, our mountains, the Licinia Mountains. Please, yeah, Thank next you. time. Okay. okay. Thank you. Have Steve. a great festival. Thank you very much.
Bye, arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao.